welcome to day six of our 21 day posture challenge. Begin by observing the posture without adjusting it. When you found your baseline, start to find your mountain pose. Make sure the toes are pointing forward, feet are pressing evenly into the ground. Roll the shoulders back, tuck the rib cage, tuck the chin back. Act as if there is a string going from the crown of your head up to the ceiling. When you're ready, begin to do your chin tucks, drawing the chin back and in. Strengthening the neck muscles. Retraining the head. And then when you're ready, with the head just a little higher than it was before, start to move into goalpost arms. I'm going through these pretty quickly, but know that you can pause the video at any time if you'd like to do an exercise for longer, or you can work on them throughout your day. There might be one that you feel like you need more than the others, and that's great. Let those hands come down. Move into our chest opener, arching the spine, lifting the chest, drawing the shoulders back. You might lift the gaze. Breathe and hold. And relax. Let's do that two more times. Arch the spine, lifting the chest, drawing the shoulders back, maybe lifting the gaze. And breathe. Relax. Moving it to it one more time. And let the shoulders relax. Moving into, you don't have to move to the side, I'm just doing it so that you can see but we're moving into our shoulder blade workout by drawing the elbows up and back. Trying to squeeze between the shoulder blades. We'll do a couple more. Then let the arms come down, moving to our chair pose. Remember this is our active pose. So we're gonna step the feet in just a little bit more, being aware of the knees. If this is hurting the knees, you might back off a little bit. We're hinging at the hips, hands can stay down. I'll give you several options, or you can go into them right now if you want to. We're pressing into the feet as if we're going to stand, starting to engage all the muscles and holding and breathing without standing. And relax. We'll do this two more times. Take a deep inhale and exhale through the mouth. One more deep inhale and full exhale. Great. Lean forward. Option to switch up the arms. Press into the feet. You might lift the arms forward and breathe. Gaze might be down at the ground or slightly lifted. Relax. Take a moment to breathe. If you want, you can take a deep inhale and full exhale through the mouth. One more time. Another option for arms is to bring them to heart center, hinge and press into the feet, pressing up. Breathe. Okay. 
and relax. Great job. Our new exercise for today is something I like to call Root to Rise. It's a more passive exercise, but we're actively drawing ourselves in two different directions. So step your feet back out, make sure that the ankles are stacked below the knees. What we're doing here is acting as if our feet are rooting down, growing roots into the ground and spreading out. And then we're acting as if we're being lifted into the sky or even floating. So the two forces are going to pull us in separate directions, kind of like a rubber band. So start to press down through the feet, start to lift through the spine. I want this to be an action as if the string is going right through your spine, not necessarily through the center of your body, but more through the back. You might notice that as you have that motion, you're drawn straight up and you start to have a better alignment through the back of the spine. Take a moment to sit here, trying to maintain that tall pose. Again, we're not working just on sitting, but we're working on stretching and growing. Take a few more deep breaths here. And when you're ready, relax the body. If you enjoyed this video and this challenge, like, subscribe, share. We'll see you tomorrow.